Well, good morning, you guys. I was checking the news this morning over having a cup of coffee. I'm thinking about going back to bed. Pretty tired. And I saw in the news that uh, Meatloaf died yesterday. And, um, boy, he had a lot of good hits. But the thing is, based on what I've experienced and know what I know, whether people believe this or not, he's not dead. His body died. He's, he's gone on. We never die. And I wanted to give you some food for thought in this video regarding that for people that don't believe that we go on. And a lot of people don't even believe in reincarnation. And I'm not here to say that reincarnation happens, but I'm going to tell you some things that will get you thinking that maybe it does. And I got a challenge for you. For people that think life is once around the ride. One time. We come here, we're born, we live, and we die, and that's it. I'm not so sure. I don't think so. There's too many things that say the opposite. Way too much that says the opposite is true. We come through, whether on this world or some other world out there, we live multiple lives. Because here's the challenge. Tell me in the comments below one thing on planet Earth that only happens once. Once. I challenge you to tell me down below what only happens once and never again in this world if you believe that we are only here one time once around the ride and that's it when the seasons happen year after year after year the sun comes up and the sun sets it did it yesterday it's doing it today and it'll do it tomorrow you don't drive your car one time you don't go to work one time you don't put on your clothes and get dressed only one time you don't just get sick one time you don't eat food only once name me anything on planet earth that only occurs one time and like i told you guys before in videos nature is a metaphor to life whether if it's the stream with rapids and turbulence for the bad times in life and the calm water for when things are good or the family tree that represents offspring from generations everything in nature is an example and everything else in this world is an example of what happens in life you repeat like the seasons like your actions like everything else the tides of the ocean go out and the tides of the ocean come in, back and forth. Nothing happens once in this world. So if nothing in this world happens only one time, why would, be, would we be the only thing that happens one time? And if you think about it, we don't. Because if you have children and a piece of you and an offspring lives, you yourself are repeating through another being you're repeating and then when your body dies and you go on you go right into another life right into another life here's another strange thing to think about we all come into the world through the same method through the same method i'm male and if you're female watching this video we both came into this world through the same method, even though I'm the opposite sex of what birthed me. We both came into this world 
to a vagina. How strange is that? And it's the woman that carries the burden for nine months. The man can create the baby in a minute. And the woman carries the burden of that child for nine months. But it's only the woman that produces all the human beings on planet Earth. Man doesn't have to do anything other than plant the seed. That's it. So how strange is that? That two sexes that are opposite one another only come through the same method. Does anyone think about how strange that is? And how God says you have to be born again to be saved? Meaning more than once, born again. You were born into the world and you have to be born again. Again, meaning more than one time. And when people see the light at the end of the tunnel, that tunnel being the birth canal and the light is the opening at the end and here you come into another life. And then people say life doesn't repeat and there's no such thing as reincarnation. Yet you've got kids like this one right here that's only nine years old and can play the electric guitar at only nine years old as good as Slash, the guitarist of Guns N' Roses. When it took Slash most of his life to get good on the guitar, enough to go pro, and this kid did it in nine years. How is that possible? I'll tell you how it's possible. The residual gift that the kid had came through into this next life. He's lived before. He was a musician before. That's why he can master the guitar at only nine years old. It only took him nine years. Can't even count all nine years because he probably started when he was like three or four. So think of how less how little a time that this kid figured out the guitar. Kids that are prodigies and can play the piano like some of your greatest performers that the earth has ever seen, and they can do it at just a young age. Same thing with a man that becomes a homosexual and has an urge to dress like a woman and to look like a woman. Where does that come from? Why is it he can't relate with his male anatomy and he wants to be the opposite sex? Is because in a previous life, he was the opposite sex. And it came through a part of that into this reality where he's now the opposite of what he used to be. And that's why he's confused and still can relate to being female because he used to be female. That's where that comes from. That is the answer. But people don't look at what's right in front of their face in this world. When everything around us is saying, wake up, people, nothing happens once and nothing ever stays the same. Whatever stays the same. A river never flows the same path all the time. It's always changing. Trees are always changing. Skies are always changing. When everything says in life, life changes, why can't we change? and be someone in one life and someone else in another. And that's where the gifts come from. People that say, how is it you know how to do the things you know how to do? I don't know. Maybe it's because in another life, I was a master carpenter, or maybe I was an artist, and that's where drawing comes from. Or maybe I was a musician, and that's where playing guitar comes from. All the things that anybody like myself knows how to do and could do it at a young age. Does anybody ever really think deep enough to see that actually the answers are right in front of you name me one thing that happens in this world once never did it before and never repeats it after one time there is nothing there is nothing that happens once hurricanes come and go tornadoes come and go volcanoes erupt and then go dormant Nothing happens once, just like you don't live once. When you die, you go on and you live another life somewhere else as someone else. It's all about learning and getting experiences and growing. That's how you grow. Through all your learning, you grow. To ultimately become whatever it is we become, 
when we are finally done doing that. But nothing happens only once. So people think we come through here and we live one time. When there's so many lives and experiences that all of us could, could experience. There's almost 9 billion people on this planet. In order for you to experience every single person in current times right now, just to experience all the people that are alive on the planet right now, you would have to live almost 9 billion times to know what each and every single human being's life was like. So you could eventually live mine. I could eventually live yours. We would know what it's like to be rich, poor, in a tropical country, in a frozen country. Think about how many times you could come back in order to gain all the experiences because that's what God does with us is he collects all the experiences through us because we are little sparks off of the main source of God. Nothing's by accident. When someone has deja vu and says, I feel like I've been here before, the reason why is because maybe you have been there before in another life. And now that past life and your current life is crossing where you had once been before. And that's why it feels familiar to you. Or if you met someone for the first time and it feels like you've known them all your life, it's because maybe that person was in your past life. And you just can't remember it now because you can only have this life experience one at a time because if we took all the memories of the past lives with us into this life it would it would muddy everything up you wouldn't be able to have each individual experience so those past experiences would have to be exempt from your memory and then in the end when it's all done you have that collection of all the lives you've lived and all the people you were you could look different be different have different names It's really not un unbelievable at all when you think about what nature teaches us. If everything on this earth repeats constantly, why wouldn't we? Are we not a part of nature? Were we not created into nature like nature itself? We're as much of a part of nature as anything else. So if all that repeats, so do we think about that because i challenge you to tell me one thing on this earth that does not repeat and being that it doesn't we repeat as well because you see i've died and i've seen the other side when you die that's not the end your consciousness goes with you you leave the body that has died you leave the carcass behind because it's just a vehicle like an automobile. And then when the driver steps out, the vehicle is rendered useless because the driver no longer occupies the automobile. That's the way our bodies are. So when your heart stops and you're dead, clinically and medically dead, you go on. You can't kill energy. It lives forever. I believe reincarnation does occur. And that's why these things where people are sexually confused a woman wants to be a man, a man wants to be a woman. It's because they were that before. And it's spilled over. That residual experience of what they were spilled over. And that's why we're not supposed to have a memory of a past life because you see how it would screw things up. But when it does come through in whatever way, now you can see how that screws up that person's life because now they're, they've, they've taken a piece of their past life and it's gotten mixed with their current life. And that's why they're confused and why a man wants to wear a wig and makeup and dress like a woman. This is why we're not supposed to remember past lives, because that is an example in nature when things go wrong. So you see, by having your past experiences, you're like, well, I don't remember living before. It's because you're not supposed to remember. Because if you remembered all the past lives you've had, it would screw the current life you're living up right now up like that person that is sexually confused and beyond it would be far worse if you remembered all of it does that not make sense when you really put your brain to use and use it like god intended and you think 
beyond just what your apps are doing on your smartphone, you can see that there's answers to things that make perfect logical sense. We repeat like everything else in nature does. The tree loses its leaves, and that's like a generation of children gone away, and then the next generation comes. And then when the tree itself dies, it left its seeds to grow another one, and it just keeps going, and we do the same damn thing. We are no different. We do the same thing. So I hate to tell you, when you die, you're going to go on and there's going to be other lives you will live. There's other lives you've already lived. That's why a lot of times, if you feel like you've been around forever, you feel tired because it's like, man, I've been around a long time. It's because you probably have. My body's 51 years old, but my soul could be 2000 years old. I do feel like I've lived many lives and I'm sick of this one. But it goes on, whether you like it or not, whether you want to believe it or not, it goes on just like everything else on planet earth and beyond that occurs continuously and it never ends. And that's why this world is so old because it's just a dumping ground for souls to come here and have experiences over and over and over again. And that's why this world will never be destroyed because it says so in the Bible, the world will always be because it's the place for souls to come and have experiences. That's what it was designed and made for. And you're going to keep having them. I hate to break it to you. I don't like the sound of that either coming back to this shithole, but maybe the next life will be better and it won't be seen as a shithole. Poor in one life, rich in the next. Sick in one life, healthy in the next. The yin and the yang, the two sides to everything. So you'd have to live more than once to experience the opposite of what you are currently experiencing. Otherwise, it'd only be one-sided and life don't work that way. Tell me down below anything in the world that happens once. Once. We don't happen once. You will be coming around again. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you again in another one. Bye-bye.